OK, uh, so let's get into details of the LiDAR data. So specifically, so I want to talk about that, how the distance are calculated uh, in LiDAR data. So uh, the secret is that, again, we are converting times into distances. Uh, so this may sound very familiar from the GPS data, so where satellites send out signals, and also depending on the time that we, when we how long we need to receive the signal, the time difference, we can calculate the spatial difference. Uh, so it is the same here in the LiDAR sensor. So basically, our sensor can send out the signals. So it is a, again active uh, sensor and to reach our target. And next, the target will um, reflect part of the signals back to the sensor. So depending on the time that when, so the time one is that the signal being sent out and time two is that the signal has been received. And also the sensor itself also knows ex exact locations of the sensor because the sensor normally has a GPS unit. So they know that where the, the, the position of itself. Uh, so next, uh, we just divide the uh, so we use a speed of light times the time that uh, sent out and received divided by two. And now we will get the uh, distance. Okay. And because we know the exact location of our um, sensors, so we are able to calculate distance um, of our target. Okay. Uh, so we send out the sensors. Uh, the sensor send out signals. So if the target is within relative short distance, the time will be smaller. Okay, so T1 and also T2, uh, the time difference will be smaller. So if the target is far away from the uh, sensor, so the time difference will be bigger, uh, then the distance will be bigger. And because we know the exact location of the sensor, so we are able to know the exact location of our target. All right. Um, so one difference, uh, okay. Uh, so multiple returns. So one unique feature of the lidar uh, is that the laser sometimes can be transmitted, can trans, uh, can traverse through the target. So can can just pass the target. So remember that the uh, the energy that uh, part of the energy will be reflected part of the energy will be absorbed and part of the energy will be uh, transmitted through our target. So that is the same for the lasers. So uh, the sensor send out a laser pulse. So part of the energy will be reflected to the sensor. And for the same signal, the part of the energy will, you see here, trans through the, the first layer and also reach the second layer of the object and reflect it and the last part of energy will be reflected. So for example, uh, for the pulse, so the first pulse will be the top of the target. The second pulse will be in the middle of the target. And the last pulse, uh, last returned pulse will be the last layer of the target. OK, so when we receive the, um, the, the signals, the pulse, so we will know that they are all from the same a signal, so we know okay, that is the first return, that is the intermediate return, and also that is the last return. So we know that the distance between the target and also our sensor, so that will be the top of our target, that will be the middle layer, and also that will be our be the last layer of the target. Okay, so the sensors, uh, so the LiDAR data can have multiple returns because the laser pole part of the laser pole, the, the energy can travel through the target and be reflected by the second or the third or the lower part of the target. So that means that in our uh, LiDAR data, so we have the first return, uh, some of the LiDAR data can be the second return, some of the LiDAR data can be the third return, and also some, some return points can be the last return. Okay. So the first return is almost the top of the target. Okay, so can tell us the top of the target. And the last return always tells the bottom. 
okay, of the target. Okay, so the first return will always give us the top of the target. For example, for example, the building, the top of the buildings. Those are the hard surface, so they will they will be uh, top return or the first return. And the bottom, the last return, for example, the ground. Okay, so that will be always be the bottom return. So that is the multiple returns. Uh, like the uh, the air photos, so the we can also measure the reflections of the laser pulse. So that means the mount has been reflected, and that is called the intensity. So we can re, re, uh, measure the number of the returns, and also we can measure the intensity of each single return. So reflection is the intensity of each single return, and there are some. Uh, materials that have highly reflective, so they have a strong signal returns, and also there are also some materials that have uh, low reflective or the low signal returns. Okay, so that means that we can also have some um, more information about our target. So in this case, this is not an air photo. This is not a photo or image. So this is the LiDAR points that we, we, we have received. Um, so we can see those are the airport based on the shape of the intensity of the reflected points and also based on the runways. So those might be the runways. We can say runway has very uh, low reflections and also the other parts, uh, they have very high reflections. Okay, so that can tell us more about information about target. So. We can know the number of the returns, and also we can know the intensity of the of the return signal. So if we look at the lidar data, uh, so normally it contains x, y, and z of the object. So it returns x, y, z of the object, and uh, and also it has the intensity, and also number of the returns. So intensity and also number of returns, and normally they will have the other information. But here, generally, so for a professional uh, LiDAR data set, it will have X, Y, Z, uh, so the coordinates. And also, it has intensity. And also, is that the first return, or second return, or third return? So which returns that we capture that signal? OK. So that is the data that LiDAR data that contains. Uh, so here are some examples. Here we can see that uh, this is, uh, we can see the trees, we can see the road, okay? Uh, so uh, this is the one example of the LiDAR points. So the LiDAR data set is very, very huge. And it gives us the 3D view because we can know the X, Y, Z. So it gives a, gave us a 3D view of the object. And uh, we can accurately measure the height and also the distance etc of the object so here this is i think that i believe this is the same data set but we are looking at different angles um, so here we can see that the, the height so some other trees and also some other hills and also some other roads okay uh, again lidar data can be very very huge 